Continuing now with the personal story segment, my interview with John Stewart, which we conducted earlier today. As you may know, Stewart has been kind of tough on Fox News. The other night on your program criticized right. Fox News for bailing out mm -hmm. of the president's uh, back and forth with That's the GOP. Right. After we used an hour of it, an hour, mm -hmm. all right, and bailed out for about 12 minutes because yeah. we had other stuff to do. And you what were you offended, have, personally you offended. So I wasn't offended. I thought it was funny. The president at times being a little bit combative. We're going to cut away because <laughs> this is against the narrative that we present. But, but, Stu. Oh, my God. On election night. You got, like, Ali's reach. You see the arms on Oh, you had no idea, It's man. like dealing with Dikembe Mutombo, trying right. to argue it. You're giving me one of these. But, no, 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 no. On Massachusetts vote night, when yes. we covered Coakley's speech in the entirety. Yes. When we covered the winner's speech in the entirety. Right. Brown. Yes. Okay, and the other CNN and MSE didn't cover Brown. I should have. You didn't say a word, did you? You're, you're absolutely right. I rest my case. Uh, your, your case is rested. Now, are you shocked that shocked. a Democratic poll operation what? shows that Fox News is mm -hmm. the most trusted news operation no. in the country? No. Forty-nine percent of Americans no, I don't. trust Fox. I'm not He's shocked. Stunned. Are you shocked that an internet poll said I was the most trusted newscaster in America? Yeah, but that was like Blinky did it. This was a big, <laughs> big, big concern. Okay, and somebody told me off the record that you were one of the forty-nine percent that I believe am. Fox News is the most trusted news organization. Here's what I believe: Fox News is the most passionate and sells the clearest narrative of any news organization, if that's how you're, are you still referring to it in that manner? Yeah, it's a news organization. Right. That, that's oh, how the okay. poll referred to it. No, I'm sure Nobody had any problem. Only you. Well, only you. Have I think Fox in and of yourself say you're not a news organization all day. Isn't it now your news? <clears throat> what, what was it? Your news from nine to 11 and then your opinion, and then your news again from like 1 to 2.30. It's kind of like a newspaper. Except, yeah, news except on the Jewish and holidays, exactly. then you're not. And then on alternate parking days, you're news. But then Christmas, you're not. Okay. And think about the news pages. Mm -hmm. And then you open another page, and there is the opinion page. Mm -hmm. Clearly labeled opinion page. Yeah. You have no problem with that, right? First of all, uh, newspapers are a passive piece of paper that you go to and you know where the opinion thing is. Television doesn't function that way and you know You don't it. think people there know is the factor no, is an opinion show? You don't think they know that? There, it's not certainly not clearly labeled. I've looked at your promos. You're part of the fair and balanced <laughs> part. You're part of the most <laughs> well, trusted name in balanced, news. But you don't think people know Let me the O'Reilly factor isn't an opinion show? That's like saying somebody watches your show, they don't know it's a comedy show. Come on, let's do it. Wise up, man. Everybody knows this. People watching in Pakistan, you know, they had a little direct TV. They uh -huh. go, that O'Reilly's opinion show. They know. They know. Why, they know why, you're a comic. Why do they, they know use I'm an opinion accent? guy. Uh, let, let, let me ask you a question. You truly believe that Fox News is uh, uh, just a nonpartisan, fair and balanced, trustworthy... Our hard news operation is. But of course, you're... Okay, you're, you, now you're casting aspersions. Yes, I am. Big word. I believe I am. All right, casting aspersions. That's right. People like Shepard Smith, mm -hmm. people, all of our White House people... Listen, here's, you think, well, you here's the brilliance little, of... Here's they the brilliance. report fairly. Here's the brilliance of Fox News. What you have been able to do, you and, and Dr. Ailes, have been able to mainstream conservative talk radio. Why wouldn't John McCain come on his program during the last campaign? Why did he dodge us and not come on if you your thesis you is that we're in business to help the GOP? He wouldn't come in. But you're not in business of John McCain. He is not GOP enough for you. Oh, you're in business of Sarah Palin. Dick Cheney. And now you Dick Cheney is right. to you Mr. Republican. Wouldn't uh, come on the program, Not Stewart. Mr. Republican. Well, because Dick Cheney, well, again, what? this atmosphere, there's a lot of light. Which he's obviously oh, stop. allergic to. Come on. Uh, there's an opportunity to like brush past the. I plant, just gave you two examples that you can't refute with your propaganda. But that doesn't outlet. mean anything. What do you mean? It's let two me, concrete let me explain examples. What I mean. John McCain no. running for president on the GOP side, Dick Cheney, Mr. GOP. Neither man would come in here People because have, the questioning is too tough. So don't give me I'm a Republican shit. They Let's need bull. You, you. Like I say, you are the most reasonable have become the most reasonable boys on Fox, which, quite frankly... Greta is the most reasonable. Come on. Well, but she's different. She's not as political. You are but the most reasonable... she's on. Is reasonable... she not on the, on the program, on the channel? Kind of. Yeah? It's 10 o'clock to 11. It's, I mean, she's kind of on it. Yeah, she's not really... Not. The, she's not the deal. Right. She's not what I think about it. But no, let's, let's go through this, because I think this All is right, important. All right, go ahead. Uh, uh, you have become, in some ways, the voice of sanity here, which, as I said, is like being the thinnest kid... Cavuto saying? Which is like being the thinnest kid at fat camp. So let's just get that straight. Here's what Fox has done through their cyclonic 
perpetual. We're back to the cyclonic. Their cyclonic right. perpetual emotion machine. Mm -hmm. That is a 24 hour a day, seven day a week. They've taken reasonable concerns about this president and this economy and turned it into a full fledged panic attack about the next coming of Chairman Mao. Explain to me why that is the narrative of your it's network. It's the narrative of a couple of guys, a Republican, Sean Hannity, and a guy, uh, uh, Glenn Beck, who's mm -hmm. basically every man. And he's Fox basically. And what do you mean he's Fox every man? What do you mean he's every man? He's every man. He sits on a bar stool. Every man's got a show? Wants. What are you talking well, about? He's talented. He's a very talented man. Right? What, what, where's every man? It means that he doesn't shill for any party, he just spouts. He spouts what, what he believes. Oh, if you think that Beck shills for the Republican Party, you're out of your mind. All right, there you go. Tomorrow we'll have more with Mr. Stewart. In a bizarre turn of events, I will vet him as a possible vice presidential candidate. Wait till you hear.